SCLC used to be called the Southern Negro Leaders Conference on Transportation and Nonviolent Integration, but renamed it to SCLC to make it harder for whites to sit on sidelines. SCLC now means Southern Christian Leadership Conference. It was founded in 1957 at the conclusion of the Montgomery bus boycott led by Rosa Parks. SCLC is different from the SCNN because it operates as an umbrella organization of affiliates. It did not seek individual members, but instead coordinated activities of local organizations, such as the Montgomery Improvement Association and Nashville Christian Leadership Council. Its staff consisted of Andrew Young and Dorothy Cotton. They, were, they trained the local communities in philosophy of Christian nonviolence by conducting leadership training programs and opening citizenship schools. SCLC sought to frame struggle for civil rights in moral terms through nonviolent protests to appeal more conscious of white Americans and end discrimin discrimination against blacks. SCLC efforts consisted of desegregation of Birmingham, Alabama, the March on Washington for Sins and Freedom, the voting rights campaign in Selma, Alabama. The march consisted of 250,000 supporters and they marched to the Lincoln Memorial on August 28, 1963. The voting registration drive in Selma, Alabama led to the Voting Rights Act of 1965. In 1967, the shift, shift focused to, towards the northern black poverty. SCLC preached nonviolence to show civil rights morals as much as political issue, active against hate crimes, police brutality, drug abuse, and discrimination.